ask you questions and <clears throat> uh, answer them honestly and uh, uh, to the best of your ability, which you always will do. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, here's your first question. What Disney princess is your favorite? That's what. You want to go first? Oh, my. You know, I, I think they have new Disney princesses that I'm unaware of, so I'm just going to start with that. This is no disrespect against the new Disney princesses that I don't know about. I like, I mean, there's some, oh my gosh, I love Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty and Snow White. I love all of them, but I really love the one um, from Princess and the Law, probably because she's from New Orleans, and I love that movie so much. But I don't know, my favorite, my favorite could be uh, Snow White. She had a lot of courage. See that? And Miss Balls. I mean, this is probably the obvious answer for me, but uh, Belle growing up was always my favorite. I know it's set in France and the opening scene with bonjour, bonjour, and everything, but I just loved Belle. I wanted to be her. I was obsessed with her. Was that your inspiration? I think it might have been. I mean, I grew up when I was that age, I was in Arkansas. So what other exposure would I have had to the French language? No. Like, I wouldn't. So that Beauty and the Beast was the first, you know, <laughs> way towards that. My turn. Um, I really like the princess from Brave. I like her crazy red hair. And she's very independent and strong and cool. I like her. And I like also the one from uh, Princess and the Frog. Princess Tiana. Tiana. Because I Tiana. Because I, mm -hmm. I think it's it's just it was <clears throat> such a good she uh, a good interpretation so to speak. Uh, of New Orleans and the flavor of New Orleans. I love it. Okay, let's move on. Okay, what do you like? Ms. Milligan, I'm going to start with you. Beach or mountain? Mountain. Why? Do you say more? So yeah. certain. Oh, like, um, when I was a kid, my dad lived in Colorado, and I just fell in love with the mountains in the summer. Not so much on skiing, <laughs> but I love Okay. I do love, love, love the beach, but if the mountains can have a lake, I prefer a lake. I know I have to specify with this question, but yes. Mountains, if there's a lake. Well, I was going to say beach, but now that you mentioned mountains in the summer, and you've gone and mentioned lakes, mm -hmm. wow. Um, but I, I got to go with my initial reaction, because particularly being home, all I can do is think I've got to get to the beach. I am yearning and, and like literally my body has this magnetic attraction to the beach right now, so beach. This is hard because I love beaches and I, one of the, <clears throat> the most beautiful beaches I had ever been to was in Bali. Um, <clears throat> You've been to Bali? I'm the Bali card. Yes, I, I'm dropping that. <laughs> <laughs> However, I love mountains in the summer. And I, uh, there was this particular place I went to uh, in Colorado, and I, I, I cannot think of the name right now. It's, it's going to drive me crazy. Anyway, there was this beautiful lake right in the middle of these mountains called Emerald Lake, and it absolutely was the color of an emerald. And, um, and in the summer, there, the flowers, the wildflowers, on the mountains are just beautiful. So um, I would have to say that that place uh, in particular is one of my favorite places you know, ever, ever, ever. It wasn't Maroon Bells, but That's it. what I was thinking, Maroon Bells. Yeah, that's but my I don't think the place. lake is so gorgeous. Maroon Bells is probably one of the most beautiful hikes. It is an electric hike. Oh, I live there. I live there in um, Snow Pass. Nice. My dad lives there. You? you lived in Aspen too, Nicole, huh? Well, I lived in Snow Mass and Aspen, so I think so. Oh. And Trisha Newton used to live in Colorado too, right? That's yeah, like all these Denver. Colorado people that used to live there. Mm -hmm. Now, this was like two hours outside of Denver. Mm -hmm. and, listen, I'm trying to think. There is, I do remember people when I lived there. It's a, it's there, a ski about, resort yeah. in the winter. Um, and, um, but it's not Crested Butte. Yes. The Crested yes, Butte. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes, just yes. across the pass yes. from Aspen. Well, but yes. Crested in the winter, it takes 
a long time to get there. Yes, yeah. it is. All right. It's chillingly beautiful. Yes, it is. Okay. If your uh, astrological sign, what is your astrological sign, and do you believe in who wants to take astrology? Going first. Okay. My, I'm a Virgo, and I think that Virgos are they're, they're one of their Stuff that she's kind of said about my children when they were born. 